1986 P. Jefferson nickel overstruck on a 1986 cent. Graded in Mint State 64 read by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the 986 of the cent date is obvious within Jefferson's hair. The nickel mint mark is sharp. The top half of the nickel date is lightly brought up. A lustrous brick red near gem that has occasional dashes of orange red on the fields. It was sold for $1,265. Number 7. 1973 S. Jefferson Nickel struck on a foreign blank, Liberian 5 cents planchet to be exact. Graded as PR67 Ultra Cameo by NGC. This Liberian copper nickel planchet is a little more than 15% underweight for the type. This did not prevent the present superb gem proof from receiving a bold strike and impressive contrast. An unusual but undeniably desirable wrong planchet proof error. It was sold for $1,207.50. Number 6. 1942 S. Jefferson nickel struck on a silver dime planchet. This war nickel was struck on a silver dime blank, and since the planchet was undersized relative to nickel dies, Liberty and States of America are mostly absent. Three quarters of the date is present. Satiny with light chestnut toning. The finder was curious about his or her discovery, and entered a few light pin scratches on Monticello and Jefferson's shoulder. It was sold for $1,955. Number 5. 1939 Jefferson Nickel with Reverse of 1940. Graded in Mint State 68 FS by NGC. FS standing for Full Steps Designation. While the 1939 Reverse of 1940 Nickel is more available than its Reverse of 1938 counterpart, the issue is nonetheless a rarity in the lofty MS 68 Full Steps grade. Strike sharpness is outstanding throughout on this coin, and the surfaces are pristine. It was sold for $2,160. Number 4. 1946 Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 67 Full Steps by PCGS. Satiny luster complements nearly flawless surfaces and sharp devices, with no obvious dye erosion. According to NGC, as soon as World War II came to an end, budgets were slashed for most federal agencies and bureaus, the U.S. Mint included. As the Mint returned to the pre-war composition of copper and nickel for the five-cent piece, it did so under severe cost restrictions that continued to tighten over the next several years. Given these conditions it's not surprising that the quality of the nation's coinage eroded even further than it had during the war years. Top-notch gems are rare. This superb gem ended up selling for $2,160. Number 3. 1948 Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 67 Full Steps by PCGS. A sharp, satiny example struck from fresh dyes with no evidence of erosion. The near brilliant surfaces are pristine, and I appeal is outstanding. This Philadelphia issue usually seen no finer than MS 66 in the Full Steps category, and superb gems such as the present are rarities. It was sold for $2,640. Number 3. 1941 Proof Jefferson Nickel from a small mintage of 18,720 pieces. The 1941 Proof Jefferson Nickel is a prime condition rarity at the PR68 grade level according to PCGS population. NGC certified only two finer with plus designation. This spectacular PR68 specimen offers sharply detailed design elements and virtually flawless surfaces, with attractive highlights of jade, sea green, and lavender gray toning. I appeal is terrific. It was sold for $2,880. Number 1. 1960 Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to Grading Service, Jefferson Nickels from the 1960s are very challenging to locate with Full Steps. The 1960p is no exception with about two dozen or so known with Full Steps in all grades combined. In uncirculated grades without the full steps they are also very scarce with less than a few hundred known. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $5,040. And there you have it, fellow collectors. The world of coins never ceases to amaze us with its hidden gems, and Jefferson Nichols are no exception. Thanks for joining us on this numismatic journey, God's will, see you in the next video.